Hey teachers, quick, quick uh, thing. We know we're building this ship and we're gonna keep building it. We have a new, two new discipline referral forms and they are on paper and there will be copies in your box on Monday morning. So as you can see, this is a student first last name teacher date submitted to the office. I'm gonna go through an incident report real quick with you. Incident, date, time, location, and description of incident. You will handwrite this, nothing is typed. It will be on a piece of paper. You will check, It may you may mark one or more of the following. For example, if a teacher is not, or a student is not showing disrespect to a teacher and not completing work, you may mark both. Then you will mark your classroom intervention here and list the intervention used from the menu. Here's the menu, right here. They're not highlighted, but there they are in yellow. Which did you use? And then how did you let the parent know? Date and time, remind text, phone call, or note home, parent response. If you notice, at least one of the three incidents must be a phone call. Not all three, at least one. So this particular instance, this child was not completing work, disrespect to teacher, what was the classroom intervention that you used, selected from the top, and let's think about loss of privileges as that could be walking the lips or missing out on STEM time or loss of something in the classroom. That could be many things. Make sure you put it here, loss of privileges and what did they lose? There's a spot for parent response here. So this was incident one and I took care of it with the parent. It's a minor incident. Incident two looks exactly the same except for classroom intervention, must be different than number one intervention. So if you had a loss of pri privileges here, you cannot have another loss of privileges here. It has to be different than number one. Again, parent contact, did you text them? Phone call, note home. How did you let the parents know about the incident at hand, a minor incident, okay? So you've got number one, you've got number two, and then there's number three, same thing. What was your classroom intervention? Must be different than one and two. Parent contact. Remember, at least one of these three, not all three have to be a phone call. One could be a text, one could be a phone call, one could be a note home, two texts and a phone call. One of them has to be a phone call, okay? The intervention must be different than one and two. So going back up here to the box, there should be three different types of classroom interventions tried throughout all three incidences, okay? So those are three opportunities for students to correct their behavior in the classroom. Moving on down to the bottom part. After the third incident has occurred and parent contact has been made after the third, the incident reporting form will come to the office. They will work the exact same way a positive phone call works. You will text Ms. Uh, Bowler and Ms. Wilson, and one of us will come get the report reporting form and we'll come and get the student. Again, text both of us after the third incident has occurred. And then we will um, mark the offenses here. So after that third incident and that... Um, student comes with us and has first offense, then you go back to the top and start all over for the child again. Incident one, and then two, and then three. Same system. After the third, they'll come again to us. Second offense, and then repeat again for third offense to the office. If we need further than that, we will determine the consequences. As you can see, these are minor minor incidences. So if someone accidentally hits someone on the bottom in the arm, kicking, hitting, shoving is marked there. If someone is saying an ugly word in the classroom, then you would mark here. Technology misuse, mark here. These are minor, 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 minor. Take care of them in the classroom. And then there's a accumulation of all of the three incidences. Now, we understand that there could be a major incident so here's the minor incident reporting form. If it's a major one, not gonna go too much over this one except for the specific offenses. 
you will fill out the top part all again in writing. Then it would be one of these offenses that is a major physical attack to harm on a student, such as biting or out on the playground attacking one, attack on a staff member, major vandalism, tearing off paint, writing on the walls, insubordination, a complete refusal to follow directions. This means over and over and over again, you've redirected with the social contract and they ask the four questions and they are refusing to even relocate themselves from the classroom. Disorderly conduct. I'm talking really out of control, throwing chairs, uh, crying out in the classroom, pure disorderly conduct, major event. Bullying, repeat offender, fighting or hitting with another student, major theft, items of high value. They walk out with a cell phone, um, pencils, Pokemon cards, someone else's toy. That is not a major theft. Verbal or written threats. This can be um, a threat to another student, a threat to a parent, threat, not to a parent, threat to a teacher. Inappropriate language. And it says extreme disrespect. Cursing, yelling, etc. Extreme, extreme. Location of the incident. Have you referenced the social contract? And did you ask the four questions? What did you do prior to? Be specific in describing the behavior incident right here. And keep going down. The bottom part will be completed by the administrator and follow up this. Again, this is an immediate text to both Wilson and Bowler. Please text both of us for a major incident. Has to be a major one. Minor over here. Three minors will get you to the office for consequences. Okay. I just want to finish with this. As I said, Miss Brown and Miss Bowler are attending Thrive starting in October. We'll continue in November. We will come back to this in October the 20th and talk about how we are using this at SES. Right now, we are borrowing from another school. Um, Ms. Wilson and I have adjusted a few times to meet our needs, but we will get, dig deeper in this as we move forward in what we need to do, what is best for our kids, and that we can focus on instruction. This will start on Monday. I need to repeat this. You do not, I repeat, do not have to fill out, I'm trying to get to it, <laughs> you do not have to fill out these anymore. Do not fill out these anymore. Do not fill out these anymore. We are moving to this. This is where you will document the parent contact. I repeat, do not fill these out. This is where you're going to document. But on Monday, the students start fresh. On Monday, the student starts fresh with the minor incident report. Do not go back and backlog, okay? I repeat, and if the people in the back and our friends did not hear us, make sure that you're talking to your friends. Do not complete these anymore. Going to incident reporting form and your parent responses are on here. Hey, we're building it together. Remember, text us for both of these. So you will text again for minor reporting form, major reporting form, and a positive office referral. Positive office referrals will continue. We would like to see one per class per week. One per class per week. Text both of us. Thank you. Y'all have a great weekend.